Hello, welcome back to Otter Pop Culture, and today we're going to be going down my favorite top 10 songs of 2018. I know there's been a big, huge gap between uh, me doing videos, but to be honest, I'm just going to level with you guys. I've been going, we've, I've been out of town and partying my ass off for New Year's Eve, so I'm back, I'm here, and we can go down this list, and these are personally the ones that I think were the good ones. I'll explain why. Um, not saying that there's better, there's that any other ones are less. I just think that these are my favorite ones that really impacted me in some way. So the first one we're going to start off, they're not in any type of order. The first time we're going to start off is um, Robin Honey. It, immediately number one. Immediately one of the one of the best albums that I thought that one of my favorite albums because I feel like it's it's been a long time since we've seen her and she comes back and she comes back with a full like great album that that just every each song has something great except for that beach one which I still to this day don't understand I'm thinking I'll look it up one day and just kind of see what that even means anyway so there's that one and then the next one is uh love love I think it's it's L A U V it's just, it's, he's a new guy, and the thing is, is that he came out with an album called I Met You When I Was 18. It was a playlist. Um, I came across him when I was watching uh, To All the Boys I've Loved Before. They played that in one of the scenes. Uh, I, I Like Me Better when in one of the scenes, and it literally, I was like, I really like this song. And I was behind because he just released his, out, his full playlist. So I just went through the whole thing, and... His voice is good. It's not. It's his voice is like definitely in the like the baritone like second tenor kind of thing, but it's really good. Um, and I love his songs. I love the beats. I love the sound. It sounds really great. Um, the next song. Oops, there we go. The next song or next song. The next album that I liked that I loved is uh, Foster the People. Actually, one of my friends was listening to it one time. We we're having a little Sunday brunch day kind of thing and just drinking rosé and shit like that and he just like have you heard of the new foster uh foster to people albums like nope never heard of it and we listened through the whole thing and um it's called S uh, sacred heart club and it's just i it's literally had been on repeat since the last time I've, since i've heard it um and then the next one is ace the aces which is our new a new pop band group or new pop girl girl pop group um um, their album, When My Heart Felt Volcanic, Volcanic, and I love this, I love this album, I think it's super cute, it's super upbeat, and I think that it's one of those things that just, like, I felt like it, it was, it reminded me a lot of a happier Haim, 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 um, Haim, Haim, whatever, um, that one group, uh, it sounds like a happier version of them, which much more like a much more like a beachy sound, I honestly think. Um, so the next one I liked is Kimbra um, Primal Heart. Easy, easy, great album. Just one of those albums where you can it, it's it's her voice. She's much more vulnerable with her stuff that she's talking about, and I love it. Especially the um, especially um, a lot of their so uh, let me think of that one song. Um, especially. Um, something about sending in me. Anyway, it's it's she does it. She does a ballad by herself, and then she gets another person that does it with her later on after the album has been released. Um, so that album is really great. I definitely suggest listening to it. Um, the next one is the album from from num from literally the first song to the last song, and it's this journey. And she released a full like like a visual album with it. Amazing, amazing. Um, Janelle Monae, Dirty Computer. Enough said. Great album. It's 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 one of the, it's one of the greatest albums. I will say this is one of the greatest albums of 2018, and you can fight me for it or whatever. But I I feel like it's it remain it's completely true. Um, next album, which is this album that took me a while to kind of get into, but after a while I realized I really liked it. Um, was Kylie Minogue Golden. I wasn't really okay with the fact that they were doing the, um, they were doing much of, that she was doing country. I was like, I really kind of want, I think a lot of us want, were looking for more of a pop 
Kylie, something that we've been missing for the longest time, you know? And so here she is doing country, which is, I am totally, I'm, I totally get it. Joanne came out, was a huge success, so everybody else was on board with doing the whole country sound, country pop. Um, but she did a good job. Um, after a while, I got, I finally got into it. Um, one of my so one of my favorite, favorite songs off of it was um, Raining Glitter and LVE. Um, those, those two are really fun. Um, next one is Troy Sivan, Bloom, which is an album I was wait I've been, I was waiting for for all for the longest time, even 2017. I think he released it songs in 2017 too. It was just so good. Every song that he released was like, oh, this is good. Oh, this is a different sound than you usually do. So good. And he dyed his hair blonde and he's doing his and he's doing his kind of like this revolution set like this different type of look, which I'm so like obsessed over with the whole like he's giving us some he's giving me some real madonna erotica kind of thing when he kind of like with the gender bender kind of thing too which i really like so it's a really good it's a really good album i really love it it's like the 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 gloomy twink album of the year and i it just it's fucking flawless um the next the next album which is another album that took me a while to get into because it was very completely off completely off of what she usually does and has nothing to, like, completely different, um, is Ariana Grande Sweetener. And Ariana, Ariana Grande Sweetener was, took, took a while for me to get into it. It was just very different. And, but her voice is great. Her sound is great. I personally, after listening to her for a while, actually like the sound of Pharrell being it. It's so upbeat and Pharrell's always have very, knows how to really make songs sound upbeat without even having the lyrics be that way. Um, and finally, number ten is um, is, Men is Sean Mendez. Sean Mendez. Um, Sean Mendez is somebody that I kind of have been make honestly kind of been just kind of pushing aside. And I was like, whatever, whatever. You're a new Justin Bieber, like or so like Justin Bieber and Ch Ed Sheeran had a baby and not too phased about it. I'll be I'll get into it when I really when it's something that I'm really impressed with. And then he did Lost in Japan, I was like, oh, okay. And the whole album, just like, completely different. His voice sounds great, and just, uh, still amazing. So, that is my top 10 of my favorite albums of 2018. I hope everybody had a great 2018. It's been a, it was a ride. But, I hope everybody had a great time. And I will see you guys next time. I'll stay tuned for a RuPaul. I know I'm behind with those. I'm gonna mix, like, a good handful of them pretty soon. So stay tuned for those. Um, tell me what your favorite albums of 2018 below, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.